If you look at the picture that we get about schools from the popular culture, from television, where young people, students, are moved on a conveyor belt from class to class, from grade to grade, really like a factory, a place where education is something that is done to students rather than with students. We all know that for real learning, young people need to be actively engaged. Partnership education combines three integrally interconnected elements. Process, how we learn and teach. Content, what we learn and teach. And structure, the learning environment. I make it a point as a teacher to never do for students what I think they can do for themselves. It's quite important for us as teachers to get students talking to each other and not just the teacher talking to the group or the group talking to the teacher and answering questions. And peer teaching is a major aspect of that. Teachers here are here because they want to do something differently and they want to be around students who are willing to take charge and do things that they'd like to be doing but at the same time doing real high school work that needs to be done to graduate. If we really think about it, every curriculum is woven around a particular conceptual framework, around basic assumptions, assumptions that are then communicated through the curriculum, assumptions about what is valued or not valued in a society. We tell kids, don't be violent. But what are the dates that we ask them to memorize? the dates of wars. So aren't we really teaching young people that if you want to get into a history book, go kill somebody? Aren't we really perpetuating the values that we don't want to perpetuate? And the problem is that this is so imbalanced because so little attention in the curriculum is given to non-violently achieved gains. The social reforms to which we owe just about all the good things in our lives. If we don't want young people to be alienated and apathetic, we need to show them that nonviolent change is possible and that they can make it happen. In the design of the partnership curriculum, we combine three strands of threads vertical threads, horizontal threads, and cross-stitchings. The vertical threads tell a story. They tell the story of cosmic, planetary, and cultural evolution, of really the adventure of life on this Earth, not as a predetermined process, but as an evolving adventure in which at every turn, alternatives, there are different possibilities. I want young people to have the benefit of the new scholarship on evolution, scholarship that shows the importance of cooperation, not just fierce competition in evolution. I think that they're entitled to know that women were there, which you really wouldn't know, if you look at the conventional texts and at the, you know, at the museum dioramas, which is not present, that in fact, mother-child bonds were one of the most important aspects of the evolution of love. Because by the grace of evolution, we humans receive biochemical rewards of enormous pleasure, not only when we are loved or cared for, but also when we love or care for another be it a child, be it a friend, be it a lover, be it even a pet. We all have experienced this, but it's left out of the conventional narratives, and it needs to be put in. The thing about social skills is we can't just say, here's how you need to act and expect that it will work. That's why I love interactive games, especially with songs, because these give opportunity for them to figure out who hasn't had a turn yet? Or how am I going to handle a bully? Or what do I say when I want to be part of a group? It's handling these problems together that are helping them build their understanding. 
we owe it to young people. And I feel so passionate about this, not only as a scholar and an educator, but as a mother and a grandmother, to give them the education that can help them navigate through these difficult times and at the same time envision a future that can really give us what we humans so want and need. I owe it to them through partnership education to give them a more complete, more accurate, and yes, more hopeful picture of what being human can mean.